can't engineer a film to to win an Oscar. You know, you, you shouldn't have that in the back of your mind anyway. So to us, when we heard that it was nominated, we couldn't believe it. You know, it was, um, you know, unbelievable. Um, but um, it was great, and the ceremony was fantastic, and it was a, surreal, a very surreal experience. Um, but it, yeah, I think it did. It changed um, our studio, Tandem Films, uh, in as much as that we brought, it brought in lots more work, you know, um, especially things like TV commercials, and kind of put us on the map, you know, for, for future work, and, and then it, it gave us lots of confidence to continue making short films. So yeah, in that respect, it did. Yeah, um, the film is about uh, a, a mime artist. And, and I've had this idea uh, for quite some time. And I wanted to make it in plasticine because, first of all, it's a, it's a medium I haven't, done, I haven't done before. And I always like to try new things, you know, it's much more interesting to um, challenge myself and, and try these new things. Um, and secondly, I thought it was an interesting subject matter because the, the audiences are divided on my martyrs. They're a bit like clowns, you either love them or hate them. Um, it's very rare, you sort of in, in the middle, you know. Um, and, uh, and I thought it was an interesting subject because they're quite sort of lonely characters, they seem to be quite lonely characters, and I thought that as a premise for a film would be quite interesting to explore. And then introducing um, a kind of love interest into the story. Um, but also reflecting that issue about people's feelings about my artists. So I, I set I set it on the stage, so he's performing on the stage in front of an audience who are leaving and disinterested. Um, and, and then at the end of it, there's just one person left, which is this girl who's madly in love with him. Um, and then towards the end of the film, he wins back the audience by doing uh, an heroic act. Um, so I thought it was quite a nice way of, sort of bringing, bringing the audience, not only the audience in the film, but the audience watching the film. Um, round to yeah, sort of appreciating my artists for, for what you know for, for their for their skills because they are very skillful people. I was um, we used Kickstarter um, because my producer recommended uh, to go that way because I didn't run out of money because I was funding it myself. And, uh, and but I was kind of cynical about it. I, wouldn't, I didn't understand the whole how it all worked and why people would want to donate money to. A film which wasn't going to make them money back, you know. Um, so I couldn't quite get my head around it. But she insisted that we should do this, and uh, it took quite a while to to think about how much money we would need and how much money we think we could, uh, you know, actually ask the public for for for, for, for donations. You know. Um, so we came up with a figure of thirty-four thousand, which sounds a lot, a lot of money, but actually. You know, when you're working on something for uh, another year, we've already been working on it for a year, uh, or nearly a year anyway. Um, it, it's amazing how, even even with wages which are which are reduced, you know, um, everybody's working on um, sort of lower rates. Um, it's the money is it goes, it just goes somehow, you know, and and all that money that we raised all went um, within about eight months I think and so I had to end up funding the last section of the film um, but you know it was it was funny. without that Kickstarter money we couldn't have made the film so it was an amazing um, invaluable experience I'm not sure if the bubble will burst one day um, I, I hope it will continue there's other, there's other um, crowd, crowdfunding schemes as well like uh, Indiegogo um, but um, they, I think that when you when you look into it, and when you look on their sites, it's amazing how how far wide how how, how far the scope is. You know, of all sorts of creative endeavours and strange ideas and projects that people have come up with. Um, so in that way, it's it's it, it stimulates the imagination, and I think everybody who goes onto those sites suddenly gets really excited about something they hadn't necessarily thought of. And so you know, it, it, it's uh, it's a good thing. Because I mean, I've, I've funded other projects myself, things that I would never would have thought about funding. And I've read about, I've seen their video pitch, and and um, I've read about what they, what, why they're trying to raise money, and I've, I've bought it. You know, I've, I've thought fantastic, good on them. Let's, I'll put some money into that.